they denied him. So punishment overtook them while they were wrong words. Listen, 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 hey, listen, 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 listen. I'm tired of you, listen. I'm tired of you were still in my shit this building. Like, yeah, I want to hear you shit. I don't want my shit being taken. So look, you better take all this shit up to the manager and tell manager, I don't want to hear this shit. I don't want my shit keep getting stolen every day. Nope. Exactly. Yeah. Irritating as fuck, y'all. Irritating. Ain't that irritating? You hear that shit? Irritating. Listen to him. Ain't that shit irritating? That shit irritating as fuck to a demon, ain't it? But when people steal my shit, and I say something about my shit being taken in this building and out in the streets, it's not irritating. For some reason, when people fuck with my shit, it's not irritating. It's funny. When people fuck with my freedom and peace, it's funny. But as soon as I irritate motherfuckers, it ain't cool. Man, check this out. Oh, God, this ain't about being tough. Remind these motherfuckers we're good with this, and I take a hard-ass hit. So if you don't knock me the fuck out, I hope you know Jesus personally. Because you put your hands on me, we going to die. That's for anybody. I don't do no boxing. I don't do no wrestling. If it's worth dying, then let's go. But they're going to stop taking my shit. And then you're going to walk away and giggle. I don't fight. I really don't talk, for real. If it weren't for white man with all these jail cells waiting for me, a lot of y'all really got the pigs. So when I'm doing this jail shit, if you still want some work, we can do it. When you just ask for, don't tell your homies you got junk like everybody else do. I'm a motherfucking weathers, nigga. I'm coming a bright light of gangsters. My blood! I'm not your fucking entertainment. Leave my shit alone. It ain't funny, nigga. Fucking around giggling while niggas fuck with my shit. Y'all think it's funny. Shut the fuck up. Where we at? Good morning, niggas. Before you get me fucked up, gonna steal my robe, yo. Bro, it's a used robe. Motherfuckers are still always stealing shit. That's crazy. You white and black pieces of shit. And you go to church. 
You a fucking religious piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. Your hustle's a piece of shit. Your hood's a piece of shit. Where's your gang boss at? Where's your church boss? Where's the snake at? That's who I want to see. You want me so bad, show me your face. Bring your face in public. Let's see how strong you is in public. Don't do no more shit out in the... In the don't be in the cut, man. I don't do shit in the cut. I'm out. Boom. You had whoever you is who's still in my underwear, bro. Bro, every time I wash clothes, somebody's still in my underwear and my socks, bro. Now somebody just stole my fucking robe. You ain't setting me up to get to kill, to kill no. I didn't kill nobody. So if you see a nigga with a robe on like this, it ain't me. I got the belt that go to it. I got a Ryan's belt. I got a Ryan's belt. The black African American who under the under the spell of some pale skinned Latin piece of shit with a black flag talking about uh yeah, I've been here for thir fifteen years and I'm Larmer and da 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 and uh he pulls out his black law flag. We'll make it so bad, I see, another, I see another old ass nigga. Old white boy. Old as fuck. what he do? He put his little black flag in his pocket. Now I'm looking, I'm in a building for the black wannabe mafia, black flag law nigga shit. And why I know, because that's connected to Paulson, Lama Avenue, and fucking Lincoln Avenue. L.A. Law. Lincoln Avenue Law. Northside. And because Northside's cool to heal niggas, now it makes sense where I'm at. I got old ass law niggas, old ass blood niggas, young and old law. I'm not no gang member. Listen. Listen, listen. Listen. At not one point of time, from a child till now, have I ever swore allegiance to a blood. Crip, law, vice lord, devil, Satan, this. I don't owe none of you nothing. What the fuck do you think you're going to wake up and say, hey, I want his shine. Let's kill him and da da da, and we'll be a better gang. Where's your gang leader at, man? I want to meet him. Where's your gang leader at, man? Gang leader, where you at, pussy? You always getting people to do your dirty work, but you won't do shit yourself. That's a classic example of a bitch. That's a classic example of a bitch. You're a gang leader. You want somebody else's motherfucking shine. You're the fucking leader. You should have your own shit running your own gang with your own ideas. But you want to be a gang Leader stealing other people's ideas. Your gang should kill you. If I was in your gang, I would kill you personally. Because you want to lead all us men to hell, and you ain't got no fucking idea of your own. That's on any gang on the planet. I don't give a fuck if it's MS-13. Man, I've been around... All so many fucking gangs across this country. I've never had this problem to I come to Pittsburgh, PA. Only place this happens is in Pittsburgh, PA. I've been to almost every fucking city. I've sat with almost every fucking gang members. You name it. And I've never seen no shit like this to I come to Pittsburgh, PA, Allegheny County. Never seen no weak ass Pink Panther, wanna be gangster TV on the shit. At the big, at the end of the day, all you want to do is fuck, drink, and party, and kill people so you can look like you gangster in front of New York, L.A., Detroit, Chicago, and Texas. Then you want to put on his face, you're a mafioso. You're none of those. 
I know you, city of Pittsburgh. If you was born from the 30s up till now, you has never been a universal successful gang city. You only been good for sports and reading books. As Dan Marino. As Craig Hayward. As anybody in the movies that come from Pittsburgh. You've never been a city of gangsters and killers and murderers. You've always been an entertaining bitch ass niggas. I remember. Let me tell you how I remember. When 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 breakdance first came. Now, before breakdance, y'all wasn't doing nothing but playing baseball. Sports. You was not stealing. You was not doing nothing. There was only a handful of us that was hustling. And I'm the only one left, practically. And I have to attribute to my man, he's still alive, my man Freddie Mack. He lived by his name, Fred Mack. I don't know who you have, Cuzzo. Love you. I pray that you ain't part of this shit, but I think you are. Because I see you in Homewood on that shit. Y'all done spread rumors on me, so right back at y'all. I asked you, was Aunty Vaughn at? You said up the street. I said, hook me up. Let me come give her a hug. And every time I see you, you in the cut somewhere with my old enemies. So there goes that. And the reason I say that, because we used to live at Bottom of Trees Hall and at the pit games, we park cars, take the grandma, her baskets, to the car for, for 50 cent. That's how I learned to hustle. Not Fred didn't teach me how to hustle, but that's how I got into my little grind. I observed people. I said, fuck, my mom don't want to do it. Man, I still fuck her across the street. Come to find out, Fred Mack and Vernon Mack and was my cousins and shit. I didn't know I was around family. Nobody told me. But I found my own way. I took carrying grandma's bags for a quarter. Now I literally carry, carry, carry grandma's bags across the street for free. And granddad. But you want my shine. You want my draws. You want my draws. You want my t-shirt. You want my robe. You want my swag. You want my smile? You want my looks? Huh? I look good, don't I? I look good. I'm sexy to you, huh? Your woman like me, huh? Your woman want me. Your woman want me, huh, bro? Oh, uh, you upset? Hey, fam. I, I had to make this video, yeah. I had to make this video. Here, here, here. Since you just took my robe, let me let you see what I look like without it. I look good, huh? Look at that face. Shiny too, baby. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Ooh, and guess what? Age reverse too. Even though my mom's ignorance got my teeth broke. Uh. Uh. It's still straight. Still look good. You still mad? You still upset? What else? What else? What else are you upset about? Oh, your gay boyfriend. Even though I'm not into dudes, want me, huh? So your bitch want me, and your bitch ass nigga want me, huh? That's how weak you are. You're a, you're a homo, and you're not good at that. You're a whore. You're a male whore for the girls, and your hoes don't even want you. Your gang don't want you. Wow. The devil don't want you, which is the white man. Wow. Now God don't want you. Wow. Pretty soon, your children, if you got some, your mother, your father, your great nobody's gonna want you. Wow. Cause you want my shine. Do I look good? I got I got a lot of good products. You got you got cleaning products up here, I'm gonna show what I know. You want my shit? I don't wanna know. You got some Gucci up there? It's expensive. So you know what I mean? Don't you smoke good? You know what I mean? Ah, uh, for the midnight love affairs, you know what I mean? I mean, you packed up. Ah, uh, you gotta pay that. You gotta pay the extra dollar. You can't. You can't. You can't use that. 
president shit. You get, I mean, you get to use their shit. Cost five, six dollars. Come on, I mean, you want my, you want my shine, right? Show you what else. You got, you got to learn how to use this too. If you want my shine, hey, get you some of this. You can't handle the mines. All right. What, what else you want? I got these two pair of headphones, right? These are um, ear candy. I got silver pair. Go to the end. When I, when I bump up to my gold life, I got the see-through pair with the lambskin flag, master sandals. So, I mean, you got you to gotta, you gotta, you gotta play your part, man. You got a lot of catching up to do. You got a lot of catching up to do to be me. Come on. What else? Gotta keep your hygiene up. You know what I'm saying? You, gotta, you can't be scared of using some charcoal. Get that deep down stink out your motherfucking mouth. You nasty mouth bitch ass nigga. I'm talking to your gang. I'm talking to your gang motherfucking leader. I'm talking to all gang leaders. Who's gonna think they're gonna get, use their little Bitch ass pieces of shit ass niggas to steal my shine cause you ain't got your own mind. You ain't got your own nothing. But you wanna put a hit and this and that on me. You wanna set me up for a murder that you done that I ain't got nothing to do with? You fucked up. You fucked up, pimpin'. You took my BMW, killed Carlos in Philadelphia with my car, painted it red. And then think I was going to what? You know you killed Angela, Angela, Angela Beverly in Walmart when you poisoned her, and she dropped dead. That's why Walmart is closed in uh, Aspen Wall. Y'all did that. Y'all closed down Walmart in Aspen Wall because y'all ain't want to see that video. Of y'all killing Angie, your own sister. Here's the funny part I never shared with America. I'm gonna share it again. I would like to put on some video of what it sounds like when somebody dies. Matter of fact, I'm I'm curious. Let me put some more real quick. I want to hear some people cry when people die. What do people do when somebody dies? I need a video of this shit. Listen to this, y'all. We're going to hold spiritual court on these murderers. Now check this out. Listen to this, y'all. One minute. Listen. You would think this happens, right? Hold up. I thought they had a video for it. There we go. Sometimes what we find is that when we've been bereaved, we want to be alone, we want to be with ourselves, and we don't want anyone else around. We might want to cry as well. Okay, my brother, nobody cried that I remember. My brother died, nobody came, got me for the funeral, nothing. And I still don't remember nobody crying. My other brother, El Jamar, I still don't see nobody still crying or mentioning that, you know, hey, let's get together and, as a family and blah, 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 nothing. All my grandmothers are dead. You would think that folks would have a family dinner of my great-grandmother, her daughter, and her daughter was my Aunt Darina. You would think 
that three generations of women died within three years, back to back, mysteriously. And you would think that the Weathers, Johnson, family, or anybody associated with the Weathers and Johnson family, they would have got together and cried, said something. Stokely, the family down south that bought the pea farms and all that shit from my grandmother, played her da -da -da, down in North Carolina, South Carolina, and Virginia. You would have thought that it came up here and said, hey, let's remember our grandmothers. And nope. So there's no cry, no grief, no nothing. So that's what makes me say they murdered him for inheritance. Same thing with William Thompson. Because when my Aunt B died and my Aunt Alice died, it was the exact same. No grief, no crying, but crocodile tears. That's all it was. It was just little petty tears. And when my Aunt Dorita died, Officer Keith Miles, as in Troy Miles, was at this witch coven thing where my aunt was being buried in a wooden box. And it's from the hill. So we got Keith Miles and Troy Miles from the hill that's hooked up with Kevin Mass, Mr. Sagittarius, who has connection with my family and this bullshit going on here. And Keith Miles and Kevin Manns and Troy Miles and Kevin Manns are closer than me and Kevin is. And Kevin slept in my motherfucking bed. Not as a boyfriend, but as a brother. Slept in my crib. Ate from my plate. Wore my clothes. Protected this motherfucker. So how? who would have enough information about me than Kevin Lamar Manns? See, because when I met Kevin Lamar Mans, hit Troy Miles and Keith Phillips live in the same building. These three were always been friends, and they would look out through a window like bitches and watch us play football. Watch us get the girls and shit while they sat in the window and play with Lisa Hardy and them next door. They never came out the hallway. I said to go to school or go to the store, get some popsicles. They never came out to get no hustle on or none of that. But all of a sudden, Detroit come with their coke game and the Jamaicans come. Now everybody's buying Corvettes, jewelry. Now drugs come, now everybody's a millionaire today. You didn't have that shit before crack came. And this is a defining moment for people here in Pittsburgh. You didn't have shit. You didn't know how to get no money before crack. Before crack cocaine came, none of you were getting money here in Pittsburgh. None of you. Unless you was a pimp, a killer, or a robber. If you ain't play sports or go to the military, you was gonna never be shit here in Pittsburgh. In fact, to this very day, unless you hate God and unless you hate your people and hate yourself, you will not survive here in Pittsburgh. Because it's built off of self-hate. The flow of river, three rivers, the flow of the currency is hate. That's why here in Pittsburgh, people don't mind taking up people for personality. These are facts. Facts. When 80s came, I watched people from 70s to 80s thought there was a new breakdance. Well, they used to argue about that. You get jealous. You're not even from New York. Just practice the skill, have fun. That's it. You know what happened? They start claiming shit that's not even them. I'm from New York. They start. They, they were weird again, which is cool, because I wore it too. But I've never claimed I'm from New York. You know what I did? I found out I had family in New York. I went there 
and learn the culture. I ain't I, I didn't perpetrate and then went there I'm from New York knowing goddamn well I'm not. And I didn't stay in Pittsburgh acting like I went there when I never been there. Because who brought back all those fucking mixtapes from New York? Literally. Troy, Calf, all you niggas on the hill. Y'all ain't had no music. I wasn't breaking that hot shit from NY. PSK, what that mean? People always saying, what the hell does that mean? The fuck is you saying? Old DJ Red Alert mixtapes. Shit, slide jump wasn't even, don't never even heard of. The fuck out of here. That's some bitch ass niggas. And y'all older too. You the same bitch ass niggas, but older. Got money. Y'all got all this, and y'all still got my name in your mouth. Wow. And real shit, I ain't ever really fuck with y'all when we was kids, and y'all ain't fuck with me as kids. That's why I, really, I ain't got too much to say about you, Keith and Troy, who's fucking my sister Dawn Thompson, you little whore. Yeah, I said it, you little bitch. He's a whore, like your mama and your daddy. Because y'all tried to make me a whore, like you. Courtney Weathers, you's a whore too, my mama. You know, goddamn, you was a whore. Everybody knew you were a whore but you. I t Listen, I sleep in the fucking streets. They tell me about all you niggas. They said, damn, oh, you ain't never nothing like your family. I said, facts, dog. They, they brought me in because I'm not like you. They brought me in because I'm not like you. They know I'm not you. They know I'm not your family and you ain't mine. I don't give a fuck about y'all. And when my turn come, no. I ain't buying up all y'all shit and you're getting the fuck out. I can't stay in this city with you niggas. Somebody got to go. I'd rather leave the city. But if I got to stay here in the city, y'all got to go. And I'm asking God right now. I'm asking the most high right now as he lives. If I got to stay here. If I got to stay here, I'm not staying here amongst a, a pyramid of, of, of motherfucking wickedness. I will not live in filth. And I would let live around wicked people. I'm not doing it. Either I leave this city in peace, or you motherfuckers leave this city. And find your peace somewhere else. And I mean that. All my life, I create my own shit. And all my life, I got to fight you niggas in this city about my shit. That's all of you, nigga. America. World news. To anybody and everybody that's anything in social media, rap, whatever. Pittsburgh is literally built off of my motherfucking energy, man. They've been stealing my shine, my ideas since I was a child. And that's why every time I leave, they still do the same shit. What I used to do. I give, them, I give them old new shit. And they still do the same shit. I'll literally leave. Look. I'll give out. my shit at? Man I got plenty of ideas. I never run out of ideas. Never. I, I come up with a bag full of ideas like this. And I uh, throw them in the streets. I say, here, go ahead and eat. It's free. And I come back. The 
bag still there, and they still doing the same shit. I picked my bag back up, and I found some shit. I forgot, I forgot to add to some missile mixtures. You know, because I do my alchemy. I do alchemy every day, all day. So I'm mixing some shit up. Boom, poof. Oh, yeah, that's going to kill me. Okay. Now, here they go again. You think you is. I don't think nothing. I am a prophet. I am a chosen one. I am a star seed. Let me show you something real quick. Just so, if you want to steal this, then you're going, to, you're going to have to ask God for this one. See this pyramid? This is by nature. If I take my pants down, you see the star part? Let me help you out. See the star part? Here go the pyramid. Right? Here go the star. And it goes down to my dick. You faggot. You'll never get my super dick and my super nuts, you faggot. I don't do boys, you homo. No disrespect to LGBT. I'm talking to a super particular group that keeps stealing my underwear and my robes and my my, my socks and shit, thinking they gonna get some of this super dick. No. I, I got super sperm, literally, bitch. You ain't getting none. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm. I'm clean. I'm literally a star child. Literally, I'm born with a fucking star here. You can't take this. You get to find your own, boo-boo. You get to find your own, boo-boo. Get your own. That's why you cursed. That's why you cursed. Thou should not hustle another man's misery. And you just keep doing it. Behind your fear tactics and your guns. But what's going to be funny is when that gun get turned on you. Straight up. To you, evil gang members who have some good in you, clean your house, man. Have a gangster meeting, whatever, but you need to clean y'all shit up unless you want to get blow, unless you want your whole program blowed up. And I know y'all feed y'all children by this. So I don't want to hear that, oh, uh, Jose Omar, he's the one who was going, he's attacking our gang, because no, bro. Somebody in your gang is attacking me, and this will happen. They're associated with you. So this is what I did. I asked all the police officers and everybody else. I said, listen to this. I got my own money. I got my own way of life. I walk my own way. I do my own thing. I don't associate with nobody, nothing, or nothing like that. It's just me and the most high. That's all I care about. If I get a, bit, a little bit of coochie, cool. If I don't, cool. Same, same to me. But for the bigger picture, I don't want to be you. I'm not arguing with any gangs here in Pittsburgh or anywhere else. I don't have nothing. You don't have nothing that I want. If you're in a gang, I definitely don't want to be bothered with you. Why? Because you need somebody. I don't need no nigga to lead me to hell. I don't need no nigga to lead me to hell. I don't need a group, a society, a government leading me to hell. I don't need no help. So stop stealing my shit trying to set me up for your crimes and your drug deals. That's not me. You... I don't have no energy for that. That's why I would never work. I don't have no reservation that if this don't work, uh, I'm going to go back to do No, there is none. I don't have reservations to come back to none of that shit. It was only an experiment. The experiment's over. I got my job well done, son. 
God already told me he's pleased with me. Praise, glory be to your love. You think out of all those times I didn't got hit by cars and hit in the head with bottles and bricks, you wasn't trying to kill me? I've been through that. But I said, Father, only you decide who lives with that. And I kept pushing. Shook that shit off. That's why I shake everything you do to me off. Because you know what? Only Most High Yah, my creator of me, you, and all things that you're using to kill me, has the power to say, yes, let that toilet tissue kill him. Yes, let a little bit of water kill him. Yes, let some bird shit hit his leg so he can get mad and say something stupid to the guy that got the gun prepared to kill him. Yes, it's already been orchestrated for him to die. But since he already always asked me for permission, I don't have nothing prepared for him to die until he do something fucked up against me. I said, no problem, Father. That won't happen. So you can't steal, rob, kill, manipulate, kill my family, the children. You can't do nothing around me to say I hate God. Or I don't want to be with the Most High. There's nothing you can do to change my mind. You listen. You already. Let me show y'all this. You already crushed my ribs. All this was crushed, y'all. It don't look like that's what I'm skinny. All this was crushed. I feel a hole right here. All this was pushed in in the middle. Yeah. See, this is literally down here. See this this. This, this wasn't holding up nothing. I was like this. Turn it out, I was really like this. How I go? I'm on the camera. Yeah, I'm like this. Or this way. Oh, this way. I don't know, but I was like this. So all this got crushed. If you do anything about the human body, all your organs is on the left side of your body. So, when this got crushed, my organs got crushed. But they didn't get crushed crushed because I wouldn't be here. But they got punctured by my ribs. The very same thing that was supposed to protect me is what killed was killing me. It punctured my lung, punctured my spleen, punctured my pancreas, punctured my bowel, punctured my large bowel. All this had holes in it, nigga, like bullets. Bang, 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 it said it was internal. I got up. Damn. As, as on, wood, on Wood Street. Of all places on Wood Street, y'all. In Wilkesburg. All this shit always happened in Homewood, Wood Street. Wood Street Commons where I'm at now. And I'm back. I shook it off. Uh, for the goodest ever, too. Uh. The devil literally ripped me and threw me against a pole like a baseball. He threw me. Boom. Seriously. The Satan threw me against a pole at 50 miles an hour, the, the speed up of a real baseball, man. I hit a pole. Bang. Hit the wall. Bow. Hit the concrete. Bow. Three times. I got fucked up once and three times. He threw one stone and got three results, and I'm back. He threw me against the pole. Bang! One. Then it flipped me around. I hit the wall. I hit the wall. Bang! Two. And I'm about this high off the wall. Bang! Hit my head. Bow! Got up. I was like this. I was like this, y'all. I was like, ooh. The fuck? <laughs> I shook it off. I was like, all right, uh, this ain't, this is, this ain't nothing new. I don't fall out of buildings, hit by cars. This is just another attack. Fuck it. Shoot it off. You know what I mean? So this is the curse to Pittsburgh. Wilkesboro Police. Judge Kim Hoops, you're going to jail for attempted homicide all my life. Courtney Weathers, you'll be going to jail for attempted homicide all my life. Kevin Lamar Mann should be going to jail for attempted homicide on my life. Uh, uh, Mr. Haley up in Penn Hills who owns Open Pantry Lincoln Avenue 
she be going to jail for attempting a homicide on my life, but she has a homicide on a couple of lives, all of them. Dewan Washington, uh, Antoine Washington, same person. Tried to cut my eyes two times. I got police reports him and his girlfriend. Justin as well tried to kill me. Uh, 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 Oswald Godfrey Bay tried to kill me. Uh, Pasquale, the jazz player who's on Wiley Avenue, who sold it. He has a little corner up there on Lincoln Avenue right now. Him and Courtney Weathers plotted, and I watched with my own eyes, tried to kill me. Who can bear witness to that? Eddie's Auto on Lincoln Avenue. He knows all that. Feds and customers of Eddie's Auto, go question them. I got a guy named D. I keep calling him. He wants to be a Hebrew Israelite with his, with his friends and shit. And I'm a Hebrew, right? And I say, a Hebrew Israelite needs some help. He don't help me. A Hebrew Israelites. Black Hebrew Israelites. We got some fake Hebrews that are going against Yahweh. Got all this property and other law. Claiming to be Yah's man and part of the children of Israel. But yet, he see me suffering and won't help or say shit about this situation. Or at least call me with some comfort. That part. Who else? Little Ronald Winfield. That owns the cave. Had the little club out Union Town with all the strippers. And all the drug dealing. Stole my shit out my truck. Out my work trucks. And you thought I didn't catch you. You talk about how my back and shit. Trying to feed, tell people I'm this and this and that so you can look good. You're a murderer. You're a drug dealer. You're a pedophile. And you're guilty of theft. And so is your Jamaican friends. They helped pitch in on that club by using my name. Same thing when you hooked up with Erica Beverly. D'Angelo Hayes. Dewan Hayes and they family. All of you are guilty. You're all in the gang. You're all associated. You're all trafficking shit. And you've all been putting my name in your shit. And y'all all try to set me up for murders and all this. That's why I'm speaking. I ain't scared of you, none of you niggas. Because for real, for real, can't none of you fight. That's why you in the gang. None of you... Had one fight since I met you. Is that true? Name one fight that you've ever been in with me since I've met any of you. When have any of you ever fought alongside of me on any level in these streets? From knee high to a fly. Who? Kev, you better not say shit. You was getting your ass whooped. Troy? You wouldn't even come out. You was crying when niggas shot up your little Toyota. Keith, you ran somewhere. I don't know where the fuck you ran when them Jamaican boys started shooting up your boy Troy's cars. Y'all start crying, hiding behind there, talking about, ooh, ooh, engine is gonna come and kill us and ooh, go we get like And that's when you moved up East Hills and you fucked one of my bitches and had a baby by one of my bitches. Remember Troy? For some reason, all of you got all got babies by my old bitches. Is that true? Hey, Bill Thompson, Pastor Bill, don't you got to have the fuck of my ex-girls, daddy? Hey, daddy, why you always fucking my women? Don't you always got your own bitches to fuck with all them houses and furs and coke and, tra and, and child trafficking? Bill Thompson, Pastor Bill, Petra Church, Mount Eric Church, we got motherfucking Kevin Mann, Lauren Mann's church with all that pedophilia and rape and shit and drug dealing. In right court, all you black churches are gangs. You're drug dealers. I know all your children and all the people who say that they get their drugs and permission from all you black churches here in Pittsburgh. I'm woke now. I I, I was coming in quiet and not saying nothing to y'all. I wasn't going to say shit. I just wanted to go mosey on my business, you know, woo -woo. Am I right, Molly World? When we went to the church and we was all there, 
I had my screen. I just said, hey, I just want to educate our people about uplifting our people and doing something right in God's name. That's it. We said nothing about who's killing, robbing, fucking drugs. We didn't go, we didn't get to no underground nothing, did we? And I packed up my screen and we gave hugs and we wanted to meet up. And then all of a sudden, everything became drugs, pussy, and murder. That's why I ain't seen you lately, Ike. Ike Weir, big ups. About to get their take off their clothes, man, at Molly World. Awesome. Molly World. I don't know when this motherfucker started happening. My screen, screen time started going now. That's some bullshit. You know what I mean? Check them out, but get your, get your, get your Ike Weir, man. So, when I say blood, cuss, nest, whatever, that's because I'm just talking to y'all language. But I ain't your gang members, man. I'm not in none of y'all gangs. I'm not in your fraternities, or fraternities, none of that. I don't need you. That's why. I don't need your permission to walk these streets. I don't need your permission to get money. I don't need your permission to fuck. I don't need your permission to marry nobody. I don't need your permission to have a child. Do nothing. I don't need you, man. So you can stop taking my shit, trying to set me up, trying to make me feel miserable so I can run in. So you think I'm going to run in and bow down to them all, I need you. Oh, please. Oh, great black wizard. Oh, great white wizard. I need you. I want to suck your nuts. Because I ain't got no... I ain't got no mind of my own. So I want to I wanna get in line and suck your nuts. Like the rest of these niggas. They're all on their knees. Oh, in Jesus' name, let me suck your balls. Let me suck your coochie. Because that's all you do. That's everything you do is about sex and money. That's it. That's it. And that makes you the seed of Cain and Judah. How we know Cain killed his brother and Judah plotted to kill his brother. And you're doing the same thing to me now. I'm able. And you're playing Cain and you want to kill me. I'm Joseph. You're Judah. Now you want to what? Plot to kill me. But now you want to send me to slavery called Allegheny County Jail. So you can do what? So you can do what? What is it about me, Cain? What is it about me, Judah, that you scared of? I don't even fuck with you. I'm not even in your lane. Matter of fact, I make it my business to stay away from you, Judah. Jews, man. I make it my business to stay away from you, black and white Jews. A Jew is a tribe of Judah and the seed of Cain. That's it. Cain fucked the stories of the first half of creation and Judah did the rest. That's why you got Judah, Jesus, taking on the name and that's why God forsook him at 9 o'clock on the cross. Ah. <sighs> Alexa, why did God forsake Jesus? Alexa, why did God forsake Jesus? From Karm.org, I believe that Jesus' unique being, two natures, one human and the other divine, made it possible for him to be temporarily forsaken by the Father in his human nature while still being in fellowship with the Father in his divine nature. Temporarily forsaken. Let me get this right. God said, you know what? I see your ass bleeding, but I'm going to sit there for a little longer and play with you while you're in pain. So I'm going to temporarily forsake you, and that's it. 
real? Wow. Y'all said that Jesus was temporarily forsaken. I want to clarify something up before y'all get y'all panties in a bunch. There was a Messiah, no doubt. But his name wasn't fucking Jesus. That's all I'm saying. We're talking about this, this fake Messiah who God forsaken. Alexa, we're in the Bible where God said, I will never forsake you. Comfordar.org. Garcia is assistant professor in Bible at Nyack College, New York City. Alexa, we're in the Bible where it says God will never forsake you. From blackamericaweb.com. God's word says he will never leave you nor forsake you. Deuteronomy 31 6. Hold up. See that shit? See that shit? Earlier, I we said Jesus. He said temporarily forsook him. See that? Hear that? That's for the gang boss. That's for the judge. That's for the police. That's for the runners of this building. That's for everybody who call on the name of Jesus. This is for you. You're being forsaken today and forever. Why? Because the Most High said, I will never forsake you. So Jesus is teaching temporarily forsaken. The truth is saying, I will never forsake you. I'm going to go over here with, I've never been forsaken. While we talk about people temporarily thinking of being forsaken. So, never and temporarily, I'm going to stick with the absolute truth and stick with the never forsaken. While you over here, gang member, you piece of shit ass, black Islamist, you piece of shit ass, gang bang, ganger, mother the fuck you is. You piece of shit ass, old ass nigga, nigget, you got money, rich, whatever the fuck you is. Use a temporary motherfucker. Use a wishy-washy motherfucker. And all your churches and all your prayers don't mean shit. Da! You want to take my shine? You want to take my clothes and my balls and my ideas and my whole existence and my fucking robe? That's what, guess what? You get to have all my misery. And oh, you ain't going to like it. Whoever did whatever they did to me, I want you to have all my innermost pain and misery. Because y'all don't know the pain that I'm in every day, all day, 20. I just want to get no watch. I'm in so much pain. In fact, I'm in so much pain when I'm not in pain, I get terrified. Because if I ain't in pain, I'm dead. I got so used to pain that if I don't get pain, I don't grow. And that makes me scared. So, bring that pain. Seriously. Pain got me feeling this way. Pain got me feeling good. Pain got me purified. And pain got me doing what I should. So since you don't want me to do what I should, I freely hand over to you my gift of pain nonstop, 24-7, every day, all day, mind, body, soul, steps, talk, piss, fuck, wiggle, work, this, smile, whatever you do, hurt. Pain, ow, ooh, ooh, ow, pow, pain. Now you have my gifts. Okay? You can have that. 
In fact, I've been praying. I said, man, I am so angry, Papa. I am so wrathful. I'm, I've been asking for permission. Father, let me tell you the truth. I asked God for one permission. I said, Father, can I just have one soul and just let me just tear it to pieces? I just want to get it out. I just want to know what it looks like to take a human body, just preferably somebody who's wanted something bad for me, and I want to just strip them. And then I want to pull their guts out like they did mine. They pulled my guts out, literally. And I want to pull their guts out and play with their organs like they did mine. Organ. Uh, Alexa, what is organs compared to organs in the body? Here is an answer from an Alexa Answers contributor that I translated. The organs of our body are the brain, the heart, the lung, the stomach, the kidney. In turn, for the organs, if they are specifically connected to each other and are used to carry out a certain activity, we can speak of apparatus and systems. Now, let's pray, about, let's pray this organ. Alexa, what is the instrument organ? In music, the organ is a keyboard instrument of one or more pipe divisions or other means for producing tones. Hey, ya, uh, hey, ya, uh, hey, ya. Uh. So you want my organs? You want my tones? You want my prayers? You want my music? You want my frequency? You want my shine? We gotta die at least five times, times a thousand. If you want my gifts, you have to die a thousand deaths. Hey, pop up, can you confirm that, please? Starting now. He took my robe, took my socks, my drawers, took my money, my inheritance, my wife, my children. You wanna take my swag? You want to copy my, my content on Facebook? You want to take my words? You want to take my, 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 my style? You want to dress like me? You want to look like me? You want to use my words? You want to become me? You want everything of me but none of you? So, I'm going to hand it to you on a silver platter and say, you have to die a thousand deaths. And you already started. And the punishment of each death is amplified times 10. So it look like you'll be busy in this life and in the next. It look like you'll be coming back. So, how do you hope? Because I won't be coming back to Earth to fuck with you. I know where I'm going. I do, I know, I've I seen where I'm going. And at this mountaintop, I was by myself, and none of y'all was there. That's why I'm okay. When I went up those 13 steps, and I see the new heavens and the new earth, and the river that flows with life, and the tree of life, and the garden of Eden, I was there with four shadows that I could pick, and you ain't it. I had my vision. I'm in the middle of a congregation. I'm in the middle. The sun's light came this way, the sunlight came that way, the sunlight came this way, the sunlight came that way, and I'm standing right here, and I'm looking at all of you, all the wise men, as I'm teaching. And the dome of the sky with the sun right there over top of my head. I seen that. I was by myself. When I had to go through all these trials and tribulations in this building, going through every door, phew, 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 and I got I seen the plate of Caesar which is your court system your Roman court system and I took my saber and I killed your demon witch and I killed all your energies and I took your court system and I took that plate and I broke it in four pieces and crushed it that's the prophecy that's coming next to be fulfilled. You can't stop this. In order for me, in order for you to stop me, let me give you a little hint. Let's give you a little hint. In order for you to stop me, you will have to die a thousand deaths, literally. And I have over a thousand feet. I have over a thousand videos to prove it. We have well over a thousand videos 
to prove what I'm telling you. Like my little B cup, y'all. Wu Tang ain't nothing to fuck with. Killer bees. <laughs> Ghost face killer. I like you, man. That's my shit. You my shit. You my man. Ghost face. Hey, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna y'all something. When Ghostface took on the name Tony, Tony the Champion, Tony, uh, Ghostface Tony, let me, let me see if I can get that on here. They, they, they might uh, fuck with it. They might fuck with it, but fuck it. Let me see if we get that up here. Ghostface as Tony. Check this out, y'all. This is my man right here. Get the rock here. Big up to Ghostface, Wu Tang. This is their video. This is their music. I mean, this is fair use. This is their content. I'm not selling it. I'm just promoting the Killer Beast thing. That's all I'm doing. Just promoting the Killer Beast thing. Just promoting the Killer Beast thing. You know what? Somebody playing around. Somebody playing around. They don't. They don't want the Beast thing, y'all. Somebody don't want the beast thing. Hold up. They, they ain't gonna stop it. They messing with the internet now. Ghostface Killer, Wu Tang. Ghostface Killer slept on Tony. Was no version on YouTube. Fair use, fair use, fair use. Ghostface Killer. Fair use, fair use, fair use. Ghostface Killer, fair use, fair use. Hold up. Let me get that out of here. Hold up. Got liquid, fair use, use. fair use, use. Ghost Ghost face killer. Fair use, 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 Ghost face, come on back, put the people back in the proper place. Ghost face, kill em. Uh, Ghost face, come back and put them in the proper place. Ghost face, come back and put them in the proper place. Ghost face, woo. 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 Kill the bees. Woo. Kill the bees. Woo. Black and gold. Woo. Uh. Black and gold. Uh. Now I mean. They don't know what was in the fold, y'all. See, they thought, they thought it was some hip hop shit. Nah, this is culture. Uh, culture. Fair use. Wu Tang. Ghost Face Killer. Fair use. Fair use. Fair use. That part. Y'all ain't built like that. 
Y'all want to show Pee Wee Herman, show Pee Wee Herman shit. Y'all want some Joe Ski Love shit. This is what y'all want right here. Let's get this. Let's get this here. They want this shit here. This is where they at. This, this, this is where, this is where my competition is at right here, y'all. Check this out. Joe Ski Love, Pee Wee. Joe Ski Love, Pee Wee. Joe Ski Love, Pee Wee Herman Dance. Pee Wee Herman Dance. This is y'all on fair use. Fair use. This is y'all. This is what y'all on. This is this what y'all on. Joe Ski Love, Marco DJ, 1986. This is this is this video on y'all. This is the shit. Let me shoot it to y'all. Let me shoot it to y'all. This is these fake niggas is on. They 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 don't know who. They on this shit right here. Fair use, fair use. I'm not selling this fair use. Joski love for Pee Wee dance. Come from Tony Church to this man. Uh. Fair use, 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 fair use. That's how you get some sand. To drop that old school shit in there. The Pee Wee nigga. Y'all know nothing about that shit. Huh? You Pee Wee Herman motherfuckers. Go back to doing your Pee Wee Herman dance. This killer B shit is for men. Go back to your little kitty music. Your little lottie dotty. You like to party. Look at my gold. Nobody give a fuck about your your gold chains and your guns. Your heart ain't shit. And to the real gang boss bosses, y'all need to fire them niggas, man, or hit them niggas up. You need to hit them niggas off, cause you got a lot of tell and tell motherfuckers in y'all gang, and I ain't one of them. For some reason, gang bosses, mafia bosses, for some reason, you got some fuck niggas for lieutenants and captains who done went behind your back, and now they want to use me as a sacrifice for something else to hide that they went against you. So I'm telling you, 
to the ones that I don't know if you are a mob boss, a gang boss, a drug kingpin, or a horde kingpin, or whatever. If you don't want on my radar, check your house, check your club, whatever the fuck it is, and ask them who is fucking with that nigga right there. Because if the feds come to our shit, because we cool, it ain't my fault. I'm giving you a heads up. Cause we come on my radar, people die. Not cause I said so. Cause somebody loves me more than you. It's called my creator. My creator loves me. And I love my creator. And the reason why I love and, and one of the main reasons why I love my creator is because he allows me to talk to you like a man and be honest with you guys like a man and say, hey, I don't have no desire to be to meddle in your underground works. I have no desire. I don't talk about your underground works even though I see it. I don't make videos about, I don't take pictures of y'all hoes tricking. I don't know if y'all noticed that. You notice none of my videos is, is I'm, I'm taking pictures of people in their active addiction, whether it's hoes, clothes, bros, or drugs. I don't know if y'all noticed that. My videos is always about something uplifting our people. I've never shot a video where I go out in the city streets and I say, look, the Crips is doing this. I've never shot a video out in the streets and I say, hey, the Bloods is doing this. Anywhere. I don't give a fuck what blood you are. I'm just saying in general for the sake of the honor that Bloods and Crips carry. Because there's a, there's a, there's a history behind being a Blood and a Crip, not just other shit. That's why I, I hold that honor up with you guys. Say I deal with the Vice Lords and all the other gangs. Uh, 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 uh. And the other, other mafia, mafias. I, Jose Omar Weathers, I have no stake in that culture. But I'm allowed to respect it. I'm allowed to walk through it and say, hey, how you doing? And keep it pushing. But now, as I'm walking through, and you get your gang friends and mentality people clinging onto my glow and then want to steal my glow in the name of your gang affiliation with them they're bringing my glow to destroy you I'm not doing that I'm not guilty I was outside today with all the gangsters and who can say what 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 and I asked them on public have I ever put myself above the most high and have I ever claimed to be something that I'm not and have I ever told on anybody have I ever went outside my way and got to somebody's business and said he did it as many as as many of people I know in this city as many of gangs that I know across this country have I ever went to another man judge police whatever, and said, I know something about this game because I got busted doing crime, I told on you. Never. I've never brought up another person's business in my shit. Why? Because it's mine. So I asked, I told him, I said, look, I stood right over the, I stood over the drain. I said, guess what? The police shouldn't say shit. Nobody should protect a fake ass teacher, a fake ass prophet, a fake ass speaker. And since I'm the loudest motherfucker in the city, kill me now. That's what I said in Homewood, in Liberty, all over the city. If God is not with me, then kill me the fuck now. And I've been here in this building for a year, and I've been in the city since 2011. What's the fucking problem? 
What's the problem? If I'm fake, I'm not who I say I am, then why has God not give you permission to kill me? Because God don't play. Like, you don't play. And I don't play. Because we get it done. There's nothing, it's nothing to just get a 30 all 6 sit back in the cut, pack a lunch, like a, a bag, and a sleeping bag, and sit in the park, and sure enough, that person will come across, lift that motherfucker up, I'm good with it too. Put him in his cross ears, like, like Call of Duty, pow, and walk off. Split that nigga's wig like John F. Kennedy. But I'm still here. So there must be some truth to me and some lies around you. So, you wicked black people, you wicked white people that were in mafia, in the courts and all that, in gangs. Only way you can get my shine if you have to take all my pain. And another one is too. Read the book of Job. You have to lose everything to even start this journey. You have to lose cars, clothes, positions, jobs, money. Everything about you has to be stripped. Then you go out and get the power. Then the money come. That's what I did. Every five years, even to this very day, I would build every five years. Somebody was to take it. Another five, take it. Another five, take it. Every time I get something, somebody take it. I get this, somebody take it. Seriously, just like now, somebody took my road. Somebody stole my bike. Somebody stole my scooter. My house, clothes, jewelry. My wife, my children. Killed my family. Trying to take my content. Marketed my content, my inheritance. They didn't took everything. Not them, but Satan. They said, I bet you he cursed you to God's face. No, I'm not. That makes me run to God even more. Why? Because he can replace all those things. If he wills. But I come to find out, I don't need that shit. All I just need to communicate with the Most High on a daily basis and get his permission to walk his streets and to manifest some things using his materials that I may praise him and have fun with creation. So, enjoy your day. Happy trails. They got somewhere to be in a minute. We're going to go up here to this AA meeting. Hopefully, I can get a ride up here to this AA meeting, talk to some people. Tell them thank you. Because part of me is thinking, I went to the AA meeting, and I told them I was standing with this guy of uh, Mount Oliver named Eugene Brown. Mr. Clean, I'm the baller. This is some weird ass shit with him. I think he got something to do with it too. But anyway, this nigga had, we mean, he didn't have bed bugs for years. You know what I mean? Move me in there to all the bed bugs. But he wanted to keep the furniture with all the bed bugs living in the shit. He don't get bit no more. I guess he, he's used to the poison. You know what I mean? He's still getting high, so I guess bed bugs, they don't eat crackheads. And that's kind of true. If you're a crackhead, you don't get eaten by bed bugs. Straight up. They don't they don't like that shit. Facts. And I don't remember. When I used to smoke crack a lot, I would never get eaten by a bed bug. As soon as I quit, the motherfucker, I didn't have lightning bolts all on my ass, all types of shit. They beat the shit out of me. Straight up. Uh, so they hooked me up, they hooked me up with a bunch of clothing. So I'm sure their friends and family had bet that I was fake. And when they see me with the donations that they had gave me, because we're in the rose was donations. That rose was a donation from a good friend from an AA meeting. You know, it's a lot of these stuff, 
lot of that stuff I paid for, but a lot of stuff was donations from the people. Why? Because I donate back to the people. It's reciprocal with me in the communities. Like these chains. A lot of stuff is really, really expensive. Like this. I got it for the low low, but it was a form of a donation. And so when I'm out in public, I do the same thing. I give people stuff for the low low because it's a donation for they can shine so they can do better. See, when, I, when we give somebody something for the low low, they need that deal for the low low. So when they get to, they get to, they'll get the money they need to be leveled out. And they may come back and say, man, I thank you for giving me an expensive item for the low low, man. Man, here go, you want to go to lunch? Well, I get an idea for you or boom, here goes 10 bands for you, man. Good looking because we give it up for the low low, I made 100 million. That's the way I plant seeds. I plant seeds trusting that you're going to triple what you're going to do for yourself. My donation is just something small to a bigger picture in your life. So I don't mind donating, giving my small donation to your big picture that I hope that you make come true. That's what I do every day, all day. I look for people to congratulate. I look for people that I can put my joy into and say, hey, can I donate some joy to your cause? Because I know you're going to make it. And if nobody say they love you, I love you. And whoever watching this video, if nobody say they love you, care, care about you, support you, I care support you. I care support you. If I had the money, I would invest in all y'all ideas. Because what don't work is still beautiful. It just needs some what? Tinkering. It ain't, it ain't ready yet. All ideas that don't work now, it just ain't ready yet. I turn all pain, all anger and rage into beautiful pictures. I love transforming that shit. So... Come on, Mr. Wicked. Come on. Come on, Mr. Wicked. Bring your biggest wicked weapon. I, I need that. I want all your wicked weapons front and center. And make sure you bring all the money, all the gold, all the jewelry. And leave your idols where they at. We'll send Judah and Levi and them to crush those idols. Hey, Levi. Pharaoh is on his son to kill me. Did he send you to kill me too? Hey, Levi, Israel. Are y'all the ones that's going to come kill your brother for pay? Huh? Or are you going to come kill me for pay? You're going to come to the mental land of bondage and kill me because that's where Joseph was at he was in Egypt the land of bondage in the city of on like Jesus said I put on the west side we're going west where the sun rise the sun shall rise in the west I put on West Side. What's up, Cali? God done burnt them motherfuckers up. Now it's almost time to plant some new seeds in a minute. As soon as you put the new water over it, we're coming back home. We already burnt it up. There's new seeds under the earth being replanted. When you fuck up this East Coast bullshit, we get to rebuild the Garden of Eden. And I pray after I'm dead and gone, y'all keep this shit up. But most I ain't send nobody else back. What you doing?
let y'all go. We're going to get into uh, <coughs> the curse <coughs> of Cain. <coughs> no, I got time. <coughs> I think I got time. I doubt it. I don't think I got time. Wish I did. We saw him out the good book as a Hebrew Muslim. Abraham is not the father of many religions. That's a lie. That's a bold faced lie. Satan is the father of many religions. Satan is the father of many religions. My glasses is that? Ah, here we go. Hey, Jimmy Halo. I'm going to tell y'all, Jimmy Halo, their, their glasses, the glass part, top of the line, man. I recommend Jimmy Halo, excuse me, <laughs> black and gold, could it be, right? I recommend Jimmy Halo eyewear, I do. But the frames, the quality of the frames, is suspect, but what you expect from well quality made lenses versus poor quality uh, frames, which I don't think Jimmy Halo is selling frames, they're selling lenses, they're selling a uh, uh, technology. And so, Jimmy Halo, I, I would I would like to get in contact with some of you guys and model y'all glasses. I have some products, some ideas I'm coming up with fly paper products, and I have some mannequins, some human mannequins coming up, and we're going to. Uh, we would like to see if we can get a nice deal with you on a couple pair or a case of glasses, different designs, to promote your your eyewear. And we'll do promotional sales with you if you know if we can. Jimmy Halo. And the fact is, I like Jimmy Halo because Jimmy, as in Jammy, Uncle Jammy's here in Pittsburgh. Check him out. Bang. Uncle Jammies. Here in Pittsburgh, check him out. Alright. He has a nice little menu dip. When I get a bigger place, I will be promoting a lot better than this. But for right now, at least you hear his name. You see the products that he got. Your contact him here is the Q code. So, hit him up on his Q code. You know what I mean? Let me see if I get it in a little better for you. Uncle Jammies. Check him out. I always keep him up here. It keeps me motivated, man. Because you're saying thank you for loving our products and being a fan. I never bought a product. I'm not going to lie. But I met the man. And for that, that made me a fan. That's why I'm blowing his name out to you guys. That's a good area. That's a cool area. Right? But yeah, uh, so Jimmy Halo, uh, they make some awesome lenses. Whatever they make them out of is awesome. I guess I got an idea whoever made these lenses. Product, yo, I wore these motherfuckers twice, and I didn't know that the side of my, the screws out my frame was out.
I didn't know one of the screws was out, man. I was mad as hell. And I'm like, well, man, how the fuck the screw come out? Just got him. I'm, I was pissed off, too. I'm like, I just got these goddamn glasses. You know what I mean? But I don't want the, I want, I couldn't see. I'm like, man, they look pretty nice. You know what I mean? They, they pretty fly. You know? Matter of fact, what made me get these, because I bought some Versace's, for 600 like these. Exact same style, man. For 600. The motherfuckers broke so goddamn fast. Got scratched so goddamn fast. And they was authentic ones, too. I mean, they broke like paper, yo. The metal was so piece of sh Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. If you rub your lenses across cotton, it would scratch. And my dumb ass bought three pair. I thought it was just me, man. It was the whole shebang with just. That was a fucking used car in itself. Straight up. Cause I'm more into my health now. I don't I don't care about cars and jewelry. I've always been into my health, but when my eyes start going bad, I was like, hold up. I'm old. That's when uh it's like, when you, I don't, fuck that. For me, I don't know about you. Uh, when I, when, my, when I noticed my eyes was getting a little fuzzy, life got real like that. And then, then after, and all my life I would hear at 55 or 60, you know, you lose your eyesight and shit. And I'm like, I don't remember it's 15 gaining eyesight, motherfuckers. So if I lose my eyes, <clears throat> in other words, if we lose our eyesight at what? 50. We start, it begins this process at 50. So I mean, from 0 to 50, you're going, your, your eyesight is gone. But what, what point of time do you have eyesight? When you come out mommy's womb, that mathematics. So I'm thinking, is it zero 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 point five seconds? Something about that five. That little Wayne in that other video said, fuck five. You got five thousandths of a second to choose God, y'all. Every day. And myself, I've been taking a little too long lately. I've been lighting cigarettes and shit before I say something. I'm telling the truth. But as soon as I catch it, but as soon as I catch it, I mean, Father, praise you. I hope, I, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I smoked the square before I talked to you. Straight up, that's what I do. I say, Pops, I'm, I'm sorry before I... Uh, Hit my medical, my medical, my medication. Uh, Pops, I'm sorry before anything. That's that's my relationship with the Most High Yah. I get, I apologize when I don't think about Him when I first wake up. That's the first thing I want on my mind when I open up my eyes and breathe. Praise Yah. How can I praise you? What are we doing today? And can I do this in the midst of me praising you and doing Your will? Can I get to do this with you? Or can we do this together? That's what I'm talking about, we. When I see you, when I say we, yeah, the most high is with me. I ain't talking about me and you. I don't know you. I heard of you. I know of you. Because we know. You guys don't. And I... No, you fucked up. We know this. I know that I took the M in me, took the E in me, flipped that bitch up to the right side of shit, the right side of my brain. I wake up leaving in my right frame of mind. And then I return 
in my right by mind how I left, left, right, balance. But you want my shine. Come and get it. You ain't got to kill me for it. You ain't got to set me up, Rob. You ain't got to do none of that. I love this shit, nigga. All you had to do was ask. Sure. I got a lot of shine to give, nigga. For anybody. <laughs> oh, my team is right here on the side. It's just a hit. Here. Here. Here's room. There's a lot of room for you. I need a new fence anyway. Come and get my shine. I need new teeth. Please. I don't want them knocked out. I want them replaced and professionally taken out. Okay? Is that okay with you? Wizard? White, black, man, woman, whatever the fuck it is you call yourself today. I would like my teeth professionally by a licensed person who cares about people. Professionally take them out and replace my fence so I can talk people when they come into the gates of God as I go through back and forth. Because you won't. Okay? You can have all the shine that you want. That's why I'm fucking here. Einstein. These motherfuckers. Y'all is the... You know what? Y'all is the dumbest tool in the goddamn toolbox. And that's plastic. That's even plastic. You're not even a smart plastic nigga. You're not even an intelligible Ken or Barbie doll. Like, if somebody made you real plastic and try to sell you in a store, I don't think anybody would buy you. As soon as you pull the string, it'll just break. The energizer battery will be like, no, nah, I'm not fucking with him. Uh -uh. That's what energy. If you put the energizer battery next to niggas like them, it won't work. It be like, look, I got all this energy, but I'm not playing for this nigga. Nope. I'm going to take my pink rabbit energized ass over here. Matter of fact, the pink energizer battery rabbit is more angry at you pink panther niggas. Because he's like, look, I am the original pink motherfucker. And here now you got pink panthers. I don't, I don't understand this shit. I don't understand this shit. If I was the Energizer Bunny Rabbit, I'd be mad at you Pink Panther motherfuckers. You want every... Got, speaking of pink, I tell these motherfuckers I want a jury trial, non-jury. No, I want pick 12. You're not judging me on the technicality of you, you being bribed and shit. So yeah, I guess you're talking about non-pre-trial. Non -pre I didn't ask for no trial, no non-jury trial. I said I want a jury trial. That's my right of being accused of driving without a license on a scooter. And there is no breathalyzer or no test to say that I was driving drunk or under the influence of any. There's no test. So there goes the whole case right there. Ain't gonna tell me, well, we want to discuss this and that, but they don't they don't have nothing on camera saying that that they saw you that you had something with alcohol in your hand. There's no video of that. And there's no there's no breathalyzer or no DUI testing saying that you were under influence. Well that's the nature of the case. If somebody chasing you down and you got your headphones on, which they'll see on the camera. When we take it to, to the jury trial.
And when we argue the fact, the distance between the Marathon store and Get-Go gas station, it took you that long for somebody riding on a scooter for drinking? How long do it take a 5.0 engine from Marathon gas station in Wilkesburg? To get go in Homewood slash Wilkesburg. How long do you think it would take him to catch up with me if I'm drinking and driving? How long did it take to catch up with you in your in the real car? Seconds. Boom. Let's pull over. Done. This nigga follow me nine blocks. Just to say. You're drinking and driving on a scooter. Nine blocks. My scooter went, goes 15 miles an hour, man. His car goes up to 120. And it took him nine blocks to catch up with me for a DUI. Come on, man. And don't give me a urine test. Not a hair follicle test. Not a drug test. Nothing. I know what it was. He thought I was selling drugs and he was supposed to kill me. But the most said, said, uh uh. Cut up my book bag, destroyed my tablet shit, pulled my arm out of socket. That's why I'm always like this. Now my shit fucked up. Thank you, Kim Hoots. Wilkesboro Police, again, because Wilkesboro Police is the one that did this. Now they done fucked up this. For some reason, Wilkesboro Police and Kim Hoots, the Johnson family and the Browns, East Hills, Penn Hills, Bill Thompson, Courtney Weathers, uh, 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 what's the other, uh, uh, the African movement people with, uh, with the other Brown. Uh, uh, what is their name? Gladys. Well, her African art and Stacy uh, Stacy Price in Maryland with that voodoo shit, that African. That's where the voodoo dolls come from. I hope you die. I ain't stupid. And y'all kill Carlos. Y'all put a magic spell on him and he's dead. Bye. Y'all all got together. You sound stupid. Mr. Brown, Kisha Brown, all you Browns and you magicians that's hooked up with Gladys and them. And y'all all in Penn Hill with the same covenant. And y'all all old bitches. All of y'all are some old jealous bitches. With some old bitch ass niggas for husbands and sons. And as long as your son is sucking your pussy, he will always, what? Suck another man's dick, balls, and somebody else's woman's pussy. They will never have nothing of their own. Why? Because mommy is going to pay my bills. Why? Because mommy gives her sins and all her love to Jesus. So nobody's responsible for shit. So you know what you do? Let's make a voodoo doll. Man, y'all been making voodoo doll. I remember that shit when I was a kid, nigga. My Aunt Bieber used to always make voodoo dolls. You dumb motherfucker. I sat with the elders. I was the only one. Sadal. Ma D. You ain't no fucking Ma D. You're going to jail, Texas, wanna be? You ain't never been shit when you was up St. Clair. You pussy. My D coming to a lot of money. No, he didn't. Send his ass to jail, feds. Fuck that nigga. He ain't never been shit. My D on my Facebook. On my Instagram. Stacy Price. Johnson and Johnson. And shut the f up St. Clair, man. Hey, blockhead. Drake. Because we ain't in the game no more. Homewood. We ain't in the game no more. You know what I mean? Man, my D ain't never been shit. 
That's why y'all run his ass up to St. Clair. Where I run up to his ass home is crying and shit. Next thing I know, lunching them up for banging my bitch because I didn't cuss Ma D out for being a wannabe back then. Every nigga's the same nigga back then today. That's why I, I switched my whole game up. When I left Pittsburgh, I switched my whole game up, yo. And sure enough, I got told people back then and today. Pittsburgh's whole Pittsburgh need a facelift. Cause y'all ain't shit. In fact, you the same niggas why it's called Snitchburg. It wasn't Pittsburgh was cool under the radar until you fuck niggas start playing something that you ain't and you're all snitches and you wanna blame me. No, you was a snitch coming out your mother's pussy. Your dad was a bitch. That's why he went to being a gangster carrying guns. Why? Because he couldn't fight as a kid. He can't fight as a... He can't fight anyway. Never could. Never had a hustle. None of these niggas in the city. We can hold court literally that on that. Brain Mel Mel's ass too. Where's Khalifa? Any of them from Big Head from, from Pittsburgh out there in New York talking that shit. That's a whole court. Since you keep putting my name in y'all mouth. This is not a rap video. This is some real manhood shit. Only niggas I can take my hat off to is uh, Pook. Uh, uh, damn. He used to play stickball with us. He was the first one I know before Sean Harris died. And he went to the military, man. He never came back. And that was my dream to do the exact same thing. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Then we were about 15, 16. And when I couldn't get to the military, man, I was pissed off. I was like, man, I'd rather die fighting for my country than die fighting for this ragged ass neighborhood. At least when I get them down for my country and I still live, I can change this shit because they ain't going to die for nothing. And that's how I live. Dying for something. Which is my motherfucking country. My country is where my heart is. My heart is where my home is. I am a merry spirit. A merry cop. A merry spirit. That's what I am. I am that. And that's why I've been given a star, literally, by the gods and Mother Earth. Tested by heaven and hell. Fuck out of here. I don't know, I think I want all y'all out of Pittsburgh. I might just stay. I always wanted to share, stay. You know what I mean? Real, real shit, man. I wanted to share, stay low. You know what I mean? Stay quiet. Let everybody do their shit. Cause, you know what I mean? Because I'm out of my business, so... You know, it'd be like this mouth. And watch them. I was having fun watching everybody do their shit. And all of a sudden... Niggas stealing shit out of my truck. They put... They, they selling, selling my workers more drugs than they ever sold them before. See, when people was working with me, Clear Vision, they got paid in cash. They didn't want to go get high after work or in the morning. They didn't want to, even though they did, but they knew that they, when they got up in the morning, they knew they had an option. They could either ride with Clear Vision, literally their own Clear Vision, with guys who's living a clear vision, or I could not ride with them and get paid, not get paid, and stay out here and have to chase and beg for a hit. But this with clear vision, even though I'm gonna try to get clean, I want to stay clean. They won't judge me if I do take a hit because they're saying we understand what you're doing. Just don't steal nothing. That's it with clear vision. We know there's a process of healing. We know there's a process of getting sober before or after you get or use a drug. 
But in the process of you healing, you cannot steal from another person. You can't take what's not yours. That is punishable by death. To take another man's earnings, bro, sis, and enemy. I don't know where you think taking somebody's freedom and soul and setting them up with failure so you can look good is honorable. I'd rather be in a gang of evil motherfuckers that fear God than all the money and all the world the world being made of pure gold by myself. I don't want all the gold to myself. I don't want shit to myself. I love to share. That's why the most high has a creation. Because he's sharing what? His creation. Fuck is wrong with you niggas, man? And you would think, soon as a motherfucker would wake up, he would dawn on him, if you look at three years behind, that this shit was here before you was even fucking. Listen, if you want to change your life right now, somebody, anybody who loves somebody, especially themselves, this is what you must overstand after you pray or whatever before you put your socks and drawers on you stick your tongue in your woman's mouth or whatever you must overstand that everything around you was here before your mother and father was born we'll just start there everything around you was here before your mother and father was conceived. Now, if you love your mother and father, and now you figured out that all this shit was here before they was conceived, then you would honor your mother and father and acknowledge that them nor you don't know shit. That's how you honor your mother and your father. You admit to yourself, that we don't know shit, and we might want to get familiar with some stuff. That's why we call it fly paper. I'm stuck on the Ten Commandments. And I swallowed a scroll, like Ezekiel. Facts. As when the Most High lives, Yah Allah lives and speaks and breathes, I was given a scroll like Ezekiel. And he ain't get murdered. I got a new name like Jacob, which is Hosea, written on the white wall in Revelations by John. Uh, that time I checked, he ain't get murdered or crucified. Moses didn't get murdered or crucified. I don't remember any man of the Most High getting murdered or and or crucified. Find one. Find one. We ain't say an average prophet. We talk about one the most high is actually used as a footprint in history. Because Jacob means something, Israel means something, Ezekiel means something, John means something, Joel means something, Hosea means something, Enoch means something, Abel means something. All these names in Abraham means something. Terah means something. Haran means something. Sarah means something. America means something. Maribosni means something. Ibra means something. Shinar means something. Salem means something. Bohemia means something. Y'all talk about, y'all say words and don't know the root culture of why you even say this one word 
that has a whole fucking book to it. A lot of y'all don't know that one word has its own, its own library. It's like putting your SD chip into your cell phone. One word can open up a thousand libraries, believe it or not. Because in the beginning was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God, and so now the word has become flesh. Now you want to assassinate it? Wow. All this time, for 400 years, y'all been praying for somebody like your Jesus. And every time a motherfucker come, y'all want to kill him, rob, steal, and take the shit for yourself. You fucking thief, you brood of vipers. So here we go again, 2,000 years later. God damn. You motherfuckers are sick. And if you go through the Bible, you keep doing the same shit. From the beginning, Cain and Abel, uh, 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 the Tower of Babel, Jacob and Esau, Judah and Joseph, Jesus and, and Jason, I mean Jesus and Hosea, uh, 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 the apostles and the fake prophets, uh, 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 the fake Jews and, and the Hebrews, then you got the Christians and the Muslims, then you got this and that, and God strictly said, do not eat from the tree of good and evil. God damn. And that just started from the birth of your version of Jesus. 2,000 plus years, same old mutiny. Let's read this. This the Hosea City. Book of Hosea, chapter 19, verse 49. There's no such thing as the book of Joshua. This is my written book right here, not Jesus' book. I am Hosea. If you read the book of Hosea, not Joshua, then you understand what's about to happen and what we're working on. You want my plan? Read the book of Hosea that they call Joshua, that they changed the name. Didn't Jesus change Simon to Peter? But Simon is in what? The book of Maccabees. Hosea is in the book of Maccabees. Not Joshua. Not Joshua. Israelites assigned a, an inheritance in the midst to who? Hosea. The son of Nun, the fish. Who did what? Say Pittsburgh. I am the son of Nun, the son of the fish that saves Pittsburgh. I'm Hosea. I'm in the book. Now, I've been written in the book. That is me. And I knew if I came at any other type of way, they, they'd have killed me off top. So I had to, you know what I mean, go through these stages. What do you see? What, what do, what did the other Messiah say in, uh, in the gossip spells? He said, when you go amongst them, take somebody with you so they don't overcome you. I said, the best thing to take with me is my prayers and Ten Commandments and take the Most High with me. Because can't no man save me on this trip. And here we are. No man has saved me on this trip. Why? Because I don't need a man or a woman. I need my creator. So I can be in the image of my creator. What's that? A man. And create what? A manhood. What's that manhood? The city of Hosea. According to Hosea city. In the book of Hosea. Verse 9. When the last of them had received their portions of the land. When the last of us received our portions in the land. What? They were to inherit 
the Israelites assigned a heritage in their midst. To who? Hosea. Not Joshua Jesus, the church. The gang gang, the bloods. The blood masons and the Yorkshire. No, mine. Thus says Yah. We're the son of none. Who's that? The fish. I'm on three rivers. Golden Triangle. I'm the only fish in the river. They took all the rest of the fish out. And people still in there fishing for fish, and there ain't nothing. There's nobody even here in Pittsburgh fishing from then. Because there ain't nothing. Like semen in my past life. Semen, fish, save Pittsburgh. Maybe Pittsburgh is my kingdom, according to this. And they don't want to give it up. Because New York belongs to uh, Europe. New Amsterdam. Whatever them kings did up there on that part of the before it got one in the water or whatever. I don't know. So it makes sense for one to kill me the day I was born or before I was born. Because the church or the tribes of Israel, were they black or white Jews or you would or cursed would, right? And even if you burn these motherfuckers, even their flames, their fumes is toxic. So even if you burn these niggas on a stake, right? Even if you burn these black and white Jews on a stake, even if the stench is toxic. Google it. You would. Like unholy wood. Because that's who runs the holy wood. That's who runs the Jew wood. Tyler Perry, black Jew. And Hollywood, white Jew, media. They both run the media. You would. And they're putting their cerebellum into a computer called artificial intelligence. So they don't have any soul. And so they're cloned in what? Metaverse. The metaverse has already taken everything they could ever possibly do today, tomorrow, and the future. They're condemned to hell. They're empty. That's what happened to them. And you're next to all my haters who want to hurt me, but I want to give to you free. I'm giving this shit out for free, what you have been trying to kill me for. Wow. You don't think at seven years old, when I got the visit from the shadow of grocery bags, nickel, that don't take a rocket science if you're seven years old wondering about death and shadow come up with a bunch of grocery bags, you bitch. Let me help you out. True story. Shadow, angels, life, and death. If I'm lying, please let me drop dead. Let me not speak or make another video. Let the clock start now. Here we go. At four, five, six, seven, I was wondering why is death so powerful? And what would I do? Where would I go if I die right now? At this is at four, five, six, seven. Because I was mentally and spiritually famished and beat. And death seemed beautiful to me at that age. And I looked out the window and I told my mama who tried to kill me and everybody else. Who tried to kill me to this very day. Don't you see the shadow with grocery bags in his hands, mama? He got milk, bread, cereal, meat, 
popcorn. Look at it. And she got furiated. And that's the day my life changed. That's the day I became reborn. So, I was born with this. And that's why I don't need your money. I don't need your fame. I don't need your pat on the back, ass, nor your name. I got a new name. I got a new life. I got new visions that's clear. And one day I'll have a new wife and we'll flow. Like air. And I don't mean no motherfucking Jordan. Cause it's so not important. I am Jose Omar Weathers. Salvation speak. No matter what the weather is. And that's how I live and sleep. Whether I'm on my feet, knees, elbow, head, spin. I'm going to break dance and keep doing it over and over and over and over again. Get you some, mind your own business. We ain't friends. We ain't cool. You're not in my new beginning. And you'll never have the pleasure of seeing my ending. Stop stealing my shit. I don't want you back. If it's wherever you think I, I think I, who I think it is, I don't want you back. If we, if I, if, we, if I thought we was family and cousins and we was gonna do beach or whatever, I don't want you back. I don't want none of that back. It served its purpose. If I don't know what that means, let me fix this. It served its purpose. Everything has an expiration. Remember, when I woke up, I wasn't born with this shit. And when I go back to sleep, I wasn't born with this shit. And when I'm asleep, I don't even use the shit. So that means when I die, it's still useless to me. And that's how I'll be, free. Stop invading my joy and my peace by taking what little shit that I got in my space. Maybe you can shine if you take off those masks and wear your own face. You'll find out you just got me as gifts as me. Now manage your own place. Dear Heavenly Father, we ask that you uh, bless this video. We ask that you be glorified according to your divine purpose. You are my foundation. You are my salvation. You are my friend. And I pray that I'm your friend. I pray that you would confirm my prayers by, by, by removing my enemies, removing your enemies from removing these people, removing this stench, removing this pinch, removing this itch, removing this glitch. Praise you, glorify you. As you protect those who are seeking to do your will, not, not their own will, I pray you protect us who are asking for permission to uh, uh, exercise some choices in the midst of doing your will. We pray uh, 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 that you would guide us through your divine uh, senses, that we may hear your voice, see your voice, feel your voice, comprehend and reflect that frequency.
Vitapolowhisper.com. Until the prophet before me and after me, I say thank you. And you'll have an awesome day. If you want to be me, if you want all of what I have, you have to die at least a thousand times, just starting off. Then you have to take all that pain of how you died a thousand times and magnify that ten times by every hour on the hour of the emotional and psychological drama and traumas. We ain't got to drug abuse. We ain't got to getting hit by cars and trucks. We're just talking about the base shit. Multiply, multiply times 10. Everything else is times 10,000. And you have to be stripped of everything you've ever known and love. Whatever it is you love, you have to be stripped from it at least five times you have to rebuild yourself five times without cursing God hurting another person killing beating somebody up because what they did to you you have to be able to say you know what I love me more I love me so much that I threw me out and I want to be somebody else that I wanted to do this to take somebody else's soul. Power. You have to have that conversation with yourself. So. See you in hell.